journalists played in the Arab Spring was huge. This was the first time uh, for us as Al Jazeera where we didn't have, uh, you know, from Tunisia, we didn't have reporters on the ground. So we relied a lot on uh, the content that was produced by uh, citizen journalists uh, and then uploaded onto, uh, in, in, onto Facebook. Uh, in Tunisia, it was Facebook that was used a lot uh, because YouTube and other sites were blocked. Uh, other countries have been different. Syria, for example, uh, the citizen journalists upload a lot onto YouTube. Um, and, I mean, in many of these cases, uh, the only video you're getting out of, uh, out of the countries is uh, video from citizen journalists. It's like the sole source of uh, video. Uh, the, 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 the platforms of choice uh, in Tunisia, as I said, it's been Facebook because uh, YouTube and everything was blocked. Um, in other places it's been uh, YouTube uh, mostly just because of, uh, of the ease of, of using it. Uh, people have learned uh, you know, how to make good videos using their mobile phones. Uh, many have used uh, flip cam cameras as well. Uh, but mobile, these days any phone has uh, uh, a camera that's good enough to take decent enough footage. Uh, that could make it on air, you know, for broadcast, or even using, uh, you know, the different uh, platforms uh, like Bamboozer and others for live streaming uh, protests and rallies uh, as they're happening. You know, these days, uh, every, most citizen journalists know how to use this and they're using it a lot, and this forms a big part of uh, reporting for news organizations. Okay. Um, so the role uh, of citizen journalists and... Uh, you know, professional journalists, I think, uh, is, is, a, is a very complementary role. Uh, some look at it as being quite competitive. I don't believe citizen journalists uh, are doing the job uh, of uh, professional journalists. I think for a, gr a good news product, you need, uh, you need both sides. You need a citizen journalist who's on the ground, uh, who's recording and preparing uh, content. Now, because there's so much of that content uh, in existence online, uh, traditional journalists, professional journalists need to come and uh, you know, research the story properly, uh, have all the facts, and then use uh, the content provided by the citizen journal, uh, journalist to uh, enhance and you know, complement uh, that uh, coverage. Um, and you know, that news report uh, that's then produced also helps citizen journalists themselves to produce even more content and you know they learn a lot from that process it's very two way it's back and forth back and forth so i think the role is quite complementary the most recent example is uh, not the arab spring example it's how we used uh, uh, you know citizen journalists we used social media uh, you know in in our reporting was for uh, a project we did around the coney 2012 video uh, you know, that video was released on social media, so uh, uh, it, it went viral and we were able to then, you know, add to the hype that that video caused by giving Ugandans a voice. And uh, it was, a, it was a, you know, a, 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 uh, this process of uh, us uh, getting voices from the ground uh, through Twitter, uh, through SMS campaign, building that content that came through into our reporting again and then giving it back to the audience. And then, uh, you know, from that process, uh, uh, there were uh, other events that took off. For example, this group of uh, Ugandans who started a website, ugandaspeaks.com. Uh, so we sent a, uh, you know, a camera and reporter to go and uh, cover their story as well. So basically to go and cover them, covering uh, uh, the story in northern Uganda. So that's one, you know, good recent example of how uh, the, the, the space that journalists are working in is changing all the time. You know, previously it was you cover a story, one, uh, one dimensional, you'd uh, just, you know, present it to the audience. Uh, these days it's, it's, it's a lot of back and fro, back and fro, and, uh, you know, uh, it's not the way it was, and I think in the future it's also going to be quite different.